Hello friends, we are starting with Paradise Lost again. We completed 155 lines and till now we have seen that Satan has given a very motivational speech. Uh, his answer was given by Beelzebub in our last video and that uh, answer was not very encouraging. Beelzebub had some doubts about their position in hell. And as a leader now it is the responsibility of Satan to allay those fears. The second point is that we will see the degradation, slow degradation of the character of Satan. And if the question is, the Satan, is Satan the hero of Paradise Lost, then this paragraph becomes important because we will see that the negative character of Satan really comes out clearly in this lines. Okay, so now let's continue with 156 line and Satan, Satan is answering to Beelzebub. Where to with speedy uh, words the arch fiend replied. The arch fiend. Fiend means evil spirit. So the chief of the evils is arch fiend or the arch enemy of God uh, replied. Replied to Beelzebub. Fallen cherub to be weak is miserable. Cherub is the angels. Angels are called cherub. There are different categories of angels. One of the categories is cherub. So he is addressing Beelzebub because Beelzebub once upon a time was a cherub. Fallen cherub. To be weak is miserable. Obviously, to be weak is to be sad. Doing or suffering. Whether we, the Beelzebub's idea was that we in hell are going to be either servant of God doing his work or we will be suffering here, uh, perpetual suffering for us in this place that, that is heaven, that is hell. So, uh, Satan answers to Beelzebub that either we are doing as a servant of God, we are doing his tasks or if we are serving, uh, suffering also here. But of this be sure. Just be uh, sure of this. To do odd good never will be our task. So either we are as a servant we are here of God. Or if we are suffering here. Then never to do good will be our task. So again this inherent evil nature of Satan is coming out. But ever to do ill our soul delight. So we will be feeling delightful only in doing ill acts, evil acts, immoral acts. So the the idea is very clear, the thing is very clear that Satan is, is a villain. As being the contrary to his high will whom we resist. We resist God, we, can, we will continue to resist God even though we are defeated. And this doing evil will be contrary to, against the will of God. That means God wants us to do good things and we will do exactly the opposite of that. If then his providence out of our evil seek to bring forth good. Providence means his spiritual power out of our evil. Our evil nature it, it wants to bring forth good, something good out of our bad nature. Our labor must be to pervert that end. Pervert means to distort or to corrupt that end. Corrupt that end. 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 What is the end? End is to seek good out of us. God wants to seek good out of our, us, and our end will be to corrupt that. Our goal will be to corrupt that end. We will not allow that to happen. And out of good, still to find means of evil. God wants us to do good things, and we will find evil in that thing also, which of time may succeed, so as perhaps shall grieve him. And we may not always, but at times we may be successful also in our endeavor. And that will grieve God. God will feel sad of that. God wants us to do good things and we will be doing bad things. And that will make God sad. And even though we cannot defeat God in battle, but this God being sad will be a revenge for us. And that will give us pleasure. If I fail not and disturb, fail not means if I am correct and disturb his inmost counsels from their destined aim. So God's counsel or God's good advice is directed towards us, but we will uh, misdirect it. We will let it go in a different direction and that is going to hurt God. But see. The angry victor had recalled his ministers of vengeance and pursuit back to the gates of heaven. Now Satan is seeing that, that there is certain change, change is, which is in its, his favor. 
Now he is saying to Beelzebub, the angry victor, the angry victor is God, had recalled his ministers of vengeance. Uh, vengeance means to take revenge or to harm other person. Uh, the angels uh, who had defeated Satan and his legions are called the ministers of vengeance and pursuit. And they were pursuing Satan. So they have been called back to the gates of heaven by God. So this is one favorable sign. The other fav favorable sign is the sulfurous hail shot after us in storm. So as we were falling from heaven, the sulfur and the fiery sulfur was thrown on us. But that has also now gone. That is also not there. Overblown had laid the fairy surge that from the precipice of heaven the seed was falling. So while we were falling from heaven and when we fell into hell, we were received by a fiery lake, a fairy lake, a lake of fire. But that that flood in that uh, fiery lake has also subsided now. So this is again a positive side. And the thunder winged with red lightning and impetuous rage. And thunder, that is the weapon of Jove or the God that was used against us, that was winged with red lightning. So it was accompanied or it was given the winged means it was given speed by the red lightning and impetuous rage. Impetuous means violent rage. Speed, momentum was given. The momentum was given to thunder with, by the rage, the rage of God. So thunder could strike with twice the speed. Perhaps has spent his stars, shafts. Shafts means arrow. So thunder perhaps has spent itself. Now it is not so powerful anymore. And ceases now to bellow through the vast and boundless deep. Now, now we don't hear the thunder bellow. Bellow means to echo or to roar. The terrifying noise of thunder is not heard no more now. In the vast and boundless deep, that means in the hell, it is not heard no more. So these four are positive signs as far as Satan is concerned and they can persuade their evil design. Let us not slip the occasion, whether scorn or satiate fury yield it from our foe. So circumstances has changed. Change in the sense that God has called his ministers back or fairy surge in which we are floating has subsided. The thunder has also spent itself. And therefore, the, since the circumstances are changed and in, are in favor, uh, in favor of us, this uh, circumstances, change circumstances, may be because uh, whether scorn, uh, God's contempt for us, he doesn't now bother about us, or satiate fury yielded from our foe. Or God has been saturated. His anger has been saturated or satisfied. And because of that, he is not bothered much about us. Uh, our foe means God. God is not, now not bothered about us. And therefore, we have got some positive circumstances at last in favor of us. See us thou yon dreary plain. Uh, he's talking to Beelzebub and he's saying, do you see that dreary means isolated or depressing plain, uh, forlorn and wild. That is forlorn means completely lonely plain and it is a wild plain. Right now they are floating in the uh, fiery lake. So he's saying that, do you see that plain? The seat of desolation. So, and this is a seat of desolation. That means complete emptiness void of light that region is devoid of light there is no light in that region there save what the glimmering of these livid flames cast pale and dreadful except save means except the, though that region doesn't have any light except what the glimmering of this livid flames now they are tossing in the fiery lakes that uh, lake uh, the flames of that lake are called livid livid means extremely angry so they are uh, they are very sharp uh, flames and livid also means uh, blue and black flames. So the fire of uh, hell is, the color of the fire of the hell is blue or black. So extremely painful flames they are. So whatever the flames can cast uh, light on that region, save that light, no other light is possible in that plane. Uh, that plane is also a dreadful plane there made more dreadful by this blue and black light. Thither let us tend from off the tossing of this fairy babes. Let us go there. Let us be away from this painful and uncomfortable position that right, right now we are in. That, that means we are tossing in the fairy wave. There rest, if any rest can harbor there. 
if any rest is possible there let us take some rest and reassembling our afflicted powers and then let us try to reassemble our afflicted means defeated or suffering powers or suffering armies so all those soldiers who, are, who have suffered let us now give give them some amount of rest if at all rest is possible consult how we may henceforth most offend our enemies then we are going to consult after taking some rest then we are going to consult as to how we are going to take revenge from god how are we going to offend our enemy that means god our own loss how repair how can we minimize the losses that we have suffered how overcome this dire calamity so we are in hell in a very dire in a very serious state how should we overcome this what reinforcement we can gain from hope now you know hope is a great motivator it provides us courage so if you are say you can apply it to your example also you are preparing for the exam and you have if you have hope that you are going to get good marks then you are still more motivated right so what reinforcement we can gain from hope now what is hope hope, hope is to overcome this dire situation hope is to take revenge against god to defeat god or to harm god if not what resolution from despair so if we are not able to defeat god then and then we are uh, what resolution then what determination we are going to have from despair despair means complete loss of hope now if there is complete lot of loss of hope then there is nothing to lose then we will be desperate or desperad okay so we may still uh, do some harm to god so this we have completed <clears throat> 191 lines and we'll continue in the next video thank you